All right, this is a uh, story about the Michigan teen accused of the school shooting, the 15-year-old out of Michigan that did the school shooting, killed four students. Now they put some more information out on this. So I thought I had to clear up a couple things I said. I said the father bought his first pistol on Black Friday. And the he didn't have it locked up and the kid, you know, got access to it. But when you look at it and read this, the parents bought their 15-year-old son a handgun for a Christmas present. Christmas that's coming up now. They're looking to charge the parents now with involuntary manslaughter. Four counts. Four people got killed. Four students. I'm going to see when you read down here what the Michigan law is. Michigan law prohibits those under 18 years of age from buying or possessing firearms. Except in limited circumstances, such as hunting with a license and a supervising adult. So if you're hunting and you got an adult with you, then you can handle a firearm. But you cannot buy one. This state here is 18 years old for a rifle, and you have to be 21 years old for a handgun to buy it in this state here where I am. So he was underage by three years. The parents bought him a handgun for a Christmas present. So he took his handgun, or I don't know, he must have found an early Christmas gift, or maybe they gave him a Christmas gift ahead of time, who knows. But that's the, uh, the story on that. He was under age, 15 years old. The parents bought him the gun. Years ago, when I grew up, yeah, I was bullied. And beat up, but we had we settled our fights with fist fights. We had, and a week or two weeks later, we were friends again. That's how we settled our differences. Today, it's different. People shoot someone or stab someone, and the life's over, and you cannot patch up and make make good later on. But that's a little update of the story. The other article I read that the guy bought his handgun on Black Friday that the, the uh, son used in the school shooting. But it was bought for him by his parents who are now facing four counts of manslaughter on top of the son that did the shooting. So the whole family is going to suffer from this. But that's the article that I picked up.